Oh, you want to learn five unusual things about pelicans? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome back to Shelby on Safari. And today we are going to do just that, including find out why pelicans may be associated with prisons? What? <laughs> but first, before we do, if you're new here and you want to learn more about animals in the wild or in pop culture, be sure to hit that subscribe button and make that bell go ding so you can be the first to see all the new content headed your way. Now, let's dive right in. There are eight different species of pelican found all over the world. And the one thing they do all have in common is, of course, their famous pouch that's under their bill. And this is actually called a galar. Now, it's a common misconception that pelicans actually have these pouches to store fish. However, that's not quite how it works. Instead, let's take a look at the brown pelican, which is native to my neck of the woods back home in California. They dive down into the water, grab up what they can, and sure enough, hopefully, a fish is inside the big lot of water that's inside their pouch. So they'll tip their head back, drain out the water, and then immediately swallow the fish. So with that in mind, a pelican's galar, or throat pouch, can actually hold more than its stomach can. The American white pelican can hold up to some three gallons in their bill alone. How crazy is that? So we often see imagery of pelicans just bobbing along. Oh, I don't really want to sing the song from, is it Chitty Chitty? No, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. I'm not gonna sing it, I don't have the rights, but hopefully you know what song I'm referring to. But when pelicans are bobbing along, it's usually white pelicans, for they then use their bill to just scoop up fish that are just hanging out around them. Usually though, it takes a bit of cooperation from other members in their colony to kind of herd the fishies together and then they all kind of scoop up and of course tip back the water and then just swallow the fish whole. But how do pelicans bob along? Well, they actually have something really trippy hidden underneath their feathers and skin. Pelicans have air sacs underneath their skin that helps give them this incredible buoyancy. And believe it or not, that is not one of the five interesting facts. It's just one really cool fact that I like about pelicans. However, what I'm gonna do today is share with you three incredible studies that have recently been done on these birds and then cover, of course, some history and folklore with you guys as we discover what exactly the pelican's connection to prison is. So let's dive right into some cool scientific studies. I'll, of course, put the links to these down in the description below for you to check out after the video. The first study looks at social learning. Social learning, like the name suggests, involves observing. Now, this is done by numerous avian species and, to some extent, even us humans. But social learning in avians is very important. Like, for example, how to recognize a predator or how to forage. I know it might seem simple enough, but sometimes you gotta learn these things by watching others. And this is what this study wanted to see. Could the great white pelican learn a new behavior in the foraging context? So what happened was, is they got a trained great white pelican to show off in front of one group of captive pelicans using a opaque box that had a nice little food treat in it. The trained pelican showed them how to open up the box. Now, when I say showed them, I mean they demonstrated this behavior in front of this group of pelicans. Then what the scientists did is use that same opaque box with the treat inside to a control group, a group of pelicans that didn't see the trained pelican opening up the box to retrieve some food. Scientists then noticed that the group that was shown by the trained great white pelican to open the box performed significantly better at opening the box and demonstrating this new foraging behavior 
than the control group. What I found interesting about this study was that all of the birds in the group that were shown the demonstration of how to open the box interacted with the object, whereas in the control group where they weren't shown how to open the box, only one individual went up and approached it. Pelicans are social birds. So this one study suggests that great white pelicans are in fact capable of social learning. The next study and unusual fact about pelicans sadly comes with regards to pollution events such as oil spills. Often in the news we hear when unfortunate events such as oil spills happen about the direct mortality, how many birds and other animals die as a consequence rather soon right after happening. However, this study wanted to take it to the next step because often or not, luckily, a lot of birds are able to be rehabilitated. It is quite a lengthy process cleaning them of oil. However, some birds are able to be re-released, which on the surface seems incredible. However, these scientists wanted to figure out what were the repercussions of the oil spill in the longer sense. They used GPS trackers on 12 rehabilitated brown pelicans and eight brown pelicans that didn't have a history of being in an oil spill, which in this case was the control group. They tracked their movements and then compared them. And the results were quite surprising. Rehabilitated pelicans traveled farther than the control group and sadly, less likely to attend breeding sites. In particular, the females seem to be more affected by the oil spills long term, which as you can imagine, these behavioral changes may have rather unfortunate consequences in the long term for the brown pelican population in the wild. For the third study, we're gonna head over to Greece and see how the Dalmatian pelican and the great cormorant will have kind of a love-hate relationship. Scientists looked at the association between these two species at three different sites. At one location, it seemed that the two got on quite mutually well. If you see my previous video on what animal is Cramorant, the Pokemon, hint a cormorant, which you can check out up here after this video is done or by clicking the links in the description below, you'll know that cormorants are great swimmers and they chase after fish underwater. So you can imagine the Dalmatian pelican who's just bobbing along using those air sacs that are underneath their skin, take full advantage of any fish that try to escape the cormorant, <laughs> that try to escape the cormorant and just scoop them up while the cormorants use the presence of pelicans to their advantage, for the pelicans have a bit of a better view of the fish shoals underneath, and so they hang out by them. Thus, the cormorants see the pelican go, hey, that's where the fish are at, I'm gonna head over there. So it seems like a good situation so far, right? However, at all three sites, the scientists notice kleptoparatism, which essentially means paratism by theft. It's where one animal takes the food or prey that was caught by another animal and eats it themselves, leaving the poor animal who did all the hard work in either catching it or collecting it empty-handed. But who in this study was the thief? Well, I've mentioned that pelicans are social birds, but it turns out the great cormorant is also very social. And at these sites, cormorants had about six individuals in their groups, whereas pelicans either were hanging out on their own or in about groups of two to three. And in this case, the pelican was the cheeky thief, trying to steal food from the great cormorants. In this study, they found about 20% of attacks were successful and noted that 31 attacks were quite violent with the pelican holding the cormorant until they dropped their fish. Whew, talk about a schoolyard bully, jeez. Which is a nice transition into why the pelican is associated, well, in one part of the world, with prisons. Ever heard of the prison Alcatraz? Well, Alcatraz Island was actually given its name by the Spanish for they noticed quite a rather large colony of brown pelicans nesting on the island. The word Alcatraz itself is derived 
from the Arabic word al kajuos which is a term used for a water-carrying vessel. And what's an animal that has a water-carrying vessel? Ah, that's right, the pelican. I was really surprised to find out just how much the pelican has been used throughout history to represent a variety of different things. I really enjoyed making the videos back during Halloween on spooky animals and diving more into the folklore and myths of some rather interesting animals that might have had a bad reputation. However, the pelican, turns out, is associated with death and the afterlife as well. Back in ancient Egypt, it was believed that the pelican possessed the ability to prophesy safe passage in the underworld for someone who had died. Jumping ahead to medieval Europe, the pelican was thought to be so attentive to her young, to the point where if there was no other food available, she would provide her own blood by wounding her chest. With that in mind, the pelican then came to symbolize the passion of the Christ. This is probably best demonstrated in a hymn by St. Thomas Aquinas, titled The Doro Te Devote, also known as Humbly We Adore Thee, where he describes Christ as the loving divine pelican, where one drop of his blood can save the world. The symbol of the pelican was also adopted by Queen Elizabeth I of England, for she wanted to portray herself as the mother of the Church of England. But where does this imagery of self-wounding themselves come from? Well, it may be because when the pelican is preening themselves, it may look like they're stabbing themselves. And the Dalmatian pelican that we mentioned about earlier in one of the studies during the breeding season, they have a bit of a red coloration to their pouch. So maybe this also helped aid in that imagery. So what did you think about these unusual facts about pelicans? If you learned something new, why not give this video a thumbs up and show the pelicans some love? And let me know in the comments down below, what was your favorite unusual fact? Before I forget, this video is dedicated to my amazing husband, for his Pelican research paper has been accepted for publication. Congratulations, dear, and I can't wait to see what you get up to next. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye!